For people with diabetes, hypoglycemia, also called a hypo, can occur. A hypo occurs when the blood glucose is less than 4 millimoles per litre or 72 milligrams per deciliter. This can be caused by too much medication, not enough food or too long between meals, more exercise than usual or unplanned exercise, drinking excess alcohol, stress. Many people will suffer from a hypo occasionally, but if you are well prepared and are able to control your diabetes, hypos should be minimal and easy to treat. Hypos have very distinct symptoms, including some of these. Hunger, dizziness, sweating, palpitations, pins and needles around the mouth, headache, a blood glucose level of less than 4 millimoles per litre. Wherever you are, you should be prepared to treat a hypo. The treatment is quick and effective. There are two stages. Have some fast-acting carbohydrate, high glycemic index food, to bring the blood glucose levels back to normal, such as four or five dextrose or leucosade tablets, or a small glass of grape juice. To ensure your blood glucose does not drop again, you then need to have some slow-acting carbohydrate, such as a piece of fruit, a yogurt, a sandwich, one or two biscuits or crackers. If you have a hypo more than once a month, you should discuss this with your diabetes specialist, as you may need some specific advice to stop this happening, or a change in medication. People with diabetes are more at risk of becoming very unwell when they are ill or have flu or pneumonia. To reduce your risk of getting flu or pneumonia, you are entitled to have a flu and pneumonia vaccine. The flu vaccine differs each year, so you should have this vaccine on an annual basis, usually in October. The pneumonia vaccine is a one-off dose, so if you've not had this, ask your GP about it and get protected. When you have diabetes and are unwell, your body releases hormones that causes your liver to release glucose and interfere with the action of insulin. This makes your blood glucose rise, sometimes to dangerously high levels. When you are ill, your diabetes will be harder to control. To help keep your diabetes well controlled, you should always continue taking your diabetes tablets and insulin, check your blood glucose more regularly, at least four times a day to see if you need to alter your treatment or seek medical advice. Drink plenty of water, at least a glassful per hour to avoid dehydration. If you cannot eat solid food and your blood glucose is low, replace meals with soups, sugary drinks or milk to give you energy to fight the illness. If your blood glucose is high, you should drink calorie-free liquids such as broth, sugar-free fizzy drinks, caffeine-free soft drinks. If you take insulin and have high blood glucose levels, you can increase your mealtime insulin dose as you have been advised by your diabetes specialist. If you have type 2 diabetes and any of the following symptoms, you should seek medical advice if your illness has not improved after two days, you have had very high blood glucose for longer than 24 or 48 hours, you have been unable to drink any fluids for over four hours. You have an illness which needs medical treatment. If you have type 1 diabetes and any of these symptoms, seek medical advice urgently. If your blood glucose is higher than 15 millimoles per litre and you have ketones in your urine. If you have stomach pains or nausea and vomiting. Rapid breathing or a rapid pulse. Weakness or tiredness, or difficulty staying awake. Blurry vision, cracked lips or dry mouth. You have been unable to drink any fluids for over four hours. You have an illness which needs medical treatment. Weddings and celebrations are important in everyone's lives. But they can also be a time when looking after your diabetes can be even more challenging than usual. You may not know when you will be eating or what food will be available. You may also do much more or much less exercise than usual, depending on your usual routine. 
Some tips for enjoying special occasions are: if you can, take your blood glucose meter with you and test your glucose levels regularly. Have a couple of long-acting carbohydrate snacks with you, such as a cereal bar or fruit, in case there are large gaps between meals or courses. Try not to overindulge in buffet foods. They are often high in saturated fats or cooked in oil. Try to make healthy choices from the buffet. Don't forget to have some vegetables and fruit with your meal. Don't forget to take part in dancing and enjoy yourself. Having diabetes does not prevent you driving a car, as long as your diabetes is well controlled and your doctor agrees you are safe to drive. It is your responsibility to inform the driver and vehicle licensing agent.